Tonight on The Powers of Matthew Starr. You wouldn't have a couple of pointers for me or anything, would you? Well, Tony, uh, if you wouldn't mind my saying, I can tell an advancer to get throw a pass. Why do I get the feeling that you really don't like that young man? But all that matters is when we're on that field. And I'm going to try to beat you out. Oh, yeah? You flunked Garcia so that kid of yours could play. Now, I'm going to prove it. You're not going to get away with this. Quadris, 12 light years across the galaxy from Earth. It was home for us until an intergalactic armada conquered it. I fought by the royal family's side, but in vain. Even their remarkable powers weren't enough. The Crown Prince and I escaped to the nearest planet on which we could survive and further his powers in order to someday return to free his people. Here on Earth, the Prince is known as Matthew Starr. He's a typical American teenager. He has friends, people who love him, and me, his guardian. I'm the only one who knows how special he is. Life for us is a series of joys and dangers, for enemy assassins constantly come to destroy us. Alone, we must survive. Where you go, Garcia? 122, 107 for completion. All right, that's it, everybody. Good practice, real good. Let's hit the shower. Come on, let's see one of those, huh? Matt. Name's Matt. Hey, Pam! You gotta relax your fingers, you know? Here, do it. I use them to guide the ball in, right? Then hug it to you. I would have, Tony, but you didn't let me run my pattern. And you led me way too much. That's very good. Sounds like you've been working out with the receivers. Taught them everything they know. How else do you think they catch those wobblers you throw them? Hey, Pamela, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have a couple of pointers for me or anything, would you? Well, Tony, uh, if you wouldn't mind my saying, I can tell an advancer to go throw a pass. No way. Nobody fakes handoffs and hides the wall better than I do. Whatever you say, but when you line up behind that center, yeah. you always point your right foot to the sidelines when you're going to pass the ball. But you never do when you're going to run with it. No, that's very good. It's very perceptive. <laughs> doing that if I was out there playing instead of waiting on Mr. Garcia. 
Why do I get the feeling that you really don't like that young man? Oh, uh, I don't know. His interest in Pam wouldn't have anything to do with it. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed that it might have brought all this about. No, I, I don't want to talk about him anyway, Chef. I want to talk about me playing football. You know I always wanted to play. Yes, and you know why I'm against it, Matthew. Now, if you were being x-rayed for a sports injury on Quadris, you'd be just like anybody else. But if you were x-rayed here and they found a bone that they didn't have, then we'd be in trouble. And that concerns me. We can't take that chance, man. Yeah, but last year back east, you, you, you let me run track. That was taking a chance. Yes, but your opponent in a track meet is not trying to take your head off. Yeah, but that's just it. You're the trainer now. You can take care of those things. And anyway, with my moves, who's going to touch me? Yes, but using your powers wouldn't be fair, Matthew. I promise, only to avoid injury. Look, I just want to belong. I'm tired of being an outsider. And you know what they say about teamwork and competition, all that stuff? That's good for future leaders. Ah, uh, just one moment. I decide what is best for this future leader. All right, would you agree what's good for one is good for another? Well, Prince Charles of England, when he was my age, he played soccer and rugby. He, he learned how to fly planes, played polo, chased girls with reckless abandon. <laughs> and I'll give all that up for football. <laughs> <laughs> you really think you can pass as well as Tony Garcia, huh? 